wonderful, wondrous, and weird as fuck. What up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. I am your host, Mike Fury, and I make informative videos just like this one. So please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. And with that being said, guys, here is my review for Weird West Dust, Boots, Pigmen, Colts, Six Shooters, Arrows, and Black Magic. These are only some of the elements that can be experienced in this godforsaken land. The supernatural hidden amongst the common folk. Screams echo in the night sky, howls that make wolves run. A brand connecting five beings of different origin, a mystery intertwining said individuals, and outcomes as numerous as bullets. Welcome to Weird West. Now the story is what you make of it, five protagonists, five different playing styles, tons of choice and consequence, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Graphically, it is this isometric western that oozes detail. Every location is this piece of parchment from an old map, which happens to be sub-locations of the even bigger map you get to travel in wasteland style. And in each and every single one of these locations, it is dominated by almost this cell-shaded, dark, gritty art style. And it's filled to the brim with western flavor. We got canyons, mines, farms, deserts, and everything weird that can possibly go on in these locations from oasis, ritual sightings, and abnormal amounts of vegetation. It is absolutely out of left field. It gets extremely weird, but it is awesome because even the locations seem to go along with the, the actual namesake. The color palette also supports it. It is very bright and vibrant during the day, but it's also new and dark during the nighttime. We have a bunch of particle effects as well from muzzle flashes, special abilities, lightning and shadows bring everything to life. And during the light night and day cycle, we have explosions, graves, secrets, all of this, all of these details just make the world feel amazing to explore. Considering the scope of the game, it's nothing short of spectacular. It is an incredible thing to experience. And that's without mentioning the amazing creepy anomalies, the epic kill cams, the dismemberment that you could actually see, and a bunch more of awesome tiny details that if you're paying attention, you could actually catch. Now, side note, the game also shows a lot of cultural representation. I do need to say this, so you will see a lot of Asians, blacks, whites, Spanish, and Native Americans as well. So shout out to the developers for actually including that, because we seem to forget that the West isn't only just a bunch of cowboys running around. See if we got this straight. A witch named Ruth who turns men into monsters, a suicidal tree holding the souls of all pigmen, and a talking snout who wants to meet for a swampside chat. That about the size of it? Now, sound wise, if we had full voice acting, I would have lost my mind because the audio itself is already pretty good. So we have some narration here and there, but for the most part, all of the dialogue will be read. This won't take away from the ominous, airy, dark soundtrack that you get to listen to. It resides in the background, setting a great foundation for the plethora of special effects you are going to hear. We hear reloading, which is like a tiny detail, but you could actually catch reloading revolvers, the differences between shotguns, rifles, dynamite explosions and actual different grenades exploding they all have different sounds i love this the finer details footsteps opening doors windows and there's tons of audio cues that you will experience throughout the game that will keep you informed from enemy transformations from trespassing and knowing when you got caught all of these will do an incredible job of keeping you informed of your surroundings i think the audio was well done and it fits the setting to a t Gameplay, Weird West is awesome to play. It's also a little hard to describe because at its core, it is this isometric twin stick shooter with 
RPG elements, and five protagonists, all with their own unique set of skills. But remember this, it's also an immersive sim. So cause and effect will litter the world and experimentation will be the icing on the cake. So of course you could shoot everybody in the face from cover if you so desire. If you wanna be a complete pedestrian at this, you could also be stealthy about it and invade camps and kill them one by one if you want to. But why not throw a thunder grenade and electrocute them when they're in water or when they're wet from rain or kick a barrel of poison onto a fire and watch the havoc and these are only some scenarios get your companions involved and use bullet time to finish off your enemies in style a variety of ways to complete each and every single objective you can be stealthy you can be loud about it you can do absolutely anything you so desire and there's tons of side content to participate in you got bounty hunting you got searching for lost treasure we have exploring every single location of this big map and you will love getting around finding awesome rare weapons or forging your very own we could gamble we can hunt wildlife we could desecrate graves we can barter stealing from everybody if we so desire and this is all part of your progression which is shared amongst all five characters i won't spoil anymore but just make the right choices that's all i can say because choices have consequences and for better or worse you don't want to make an enemy out of your friends cons it's buggy some side quests will glitch out and not allow you to finish them here's one that bothered me for some weird reason during the pig mission i was never allowed to free the sex slaves it never gave me the option to free them i killed everybody inside the the little brothel and literally nothing happened i even looked searched in every single spot where maybe some information could be in never got the chance to finish it and it just kept on popping out i, I would finish the pigman quest and it came out as a negative as in i didn't finish that quest Apart from that, another gripe of mine is the AI. Now, this is on both parts, both the enemies and my companions. Let's start off with my companions. They will knowingly rush a full camp of five, six individuals, all with a pistol, and they think that they can do it. You're not Rambo. I'm Rambo, and I'm hidden behind a rock with a rifle trying to shoot these dudes heads off, and you're out here going 1v5. Come back here. I don't even act this way. And that same thing happens with the enemies now the enemies could be smart they can flank they can use cover they could do a tons of different things but sometimes they just feel like walking into this entire wall of fire that i have built just by throwing molotovs just because they can and it's legit some of the funniest interactions i'll be like you guys you guys had me beat and then something happened and it just everything fell apart <laughs> it is hilarious but at the same time it is something that's consistently inconsistent i love it it's fun it's funny sometimes but it kind of breaks the immersion a little bit now apart from that you will also see repeat set pieces here and there and repetitive gameplay on occasion because there's only so many ways for you to skin a cat and even though there's a variety of ways to do different objectives you will see certain scenarios like bounties will be the same certain locations will be exact copies of other locations and you'll see that the fact that it's a budget title at a 40 dollars asking price you'll see where the cuts were made in conclusion weird west is one of my favorite games of the year i think all things considered gripes aside it is absolutely fantastic and i thoroughly enjoyed my time with it it literally punches above its weight class with just the different types of scenarios and replayability that it offers especially at this price point final score for weird west is an eight 0.5 out of 10 so let's answer the three questions shall we is it fun is it worth it and is it for you is it fun yes it is fun bullet time is awesome the different types of enemies that you can encounter they're all different and unique and have different attack patterns the locations finding loot and all and finding the legendaries oh my god it was super cool just the fact that they were able to nail this concept the way that it has been nailed i am thoroughly excited for the future of not only weird west but also wolf I, keep in mind weird west also has a roadmap that there will be added content to so and also adding some fixes and things of that nature but yes it is super fun is it worth it it's on game pass and it's 40 dollars. yes i think that the 40 dollar asking price is worth it i thoroughly recommend this it is worth it at the 40 dollar asking price if you compare it to other games that will be compared to it a man eater a greed fall this has them be on numerous fronts like in terms of quality numerous fronts not saying that those aren't quality because i enjoy man eater and greed fall which i haven't done a review for but point is i think that it is right up there with some of the best 40 dollar games you could probably get your hands on and then finally is it for you if you like immersive sims like prey if you like 
Red Dead Redemption, if you like Westerns, if you like games like Gunslinger, and if you like like Fallout New Vegas, like if you if you're a fan of Fallout New Vegas, this might be the best, the closest thing to the Wild Wasteland perk, but everything is the Wild Wasteland perk instead of certain instances in Fallout New Vegas. Think of it, okay, one, two, three. Just think about this. If Weird West was a third person adventure game, like a Red Dead Redemption, it would be Undead Nightmare 2.0. It would be in the conversation of game of the year. That's how good this is, but you know, obviously the scope and the direction is not gonna be too fondly for the people who vote on game of the year. So. Anyways, I don't care about any of that. That has been the review, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Let me know, have you played Weird West? Have you played it on Game Pass? Have you at least tried it out? Let me know. If it's not for you, it's okay. If it is for you, let me know how you like it so far. Obviously, I got other videos about Weird West already posted on the channel, so check those out as well. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to support the channel, make sure to use the link down in the description below, the Amazon link and the epic creator code either one is extremely helpful and it costs you nothing you could also follow me on tiktok twitter instagram links are down in the description below along with my patreon do consider supporting me there a dollar a day keeps the landlord away i'm your host mike fury it's been a complete pleasure to mike